Putin's Impossible Plan to Build a Highway to the USA Building a highway across the ocean to physically connect America and Eurasia, particularly linking Russia and Alaska, is a massive undertaking. Proposals for a bridge or tunnel across the Bering Strait have been discussed for years, but consistently dismissed due to the significant logistical complications. The challenges involve engineering complexities to handle harsh environmental conditions, as well as diplomatic and geopolitical considerations. Despite ongoing discussions, the practicality and feasibility of such a transoceanic highway have been questioned. Today, let's delve into the fascinating details of a mega-project that sparks intrigue. The proposal to build a billion-dollar tunnel across the Bering Strait connecting North America and Asia. Beringia, a landmass that linked North America and Asia, existed around 11,000 years ago. However, this route succumbed to the rising sea levels, giving rise to a new geographic feature we know today as the Bering Strait. This shallow and narrow body of water now serves as the boundary between two once-connected continents. Despite the natural barrier, people have historically traversed the strait during winter, using methods ranging from dog sleds to skis to their own two feet. Now, China and Russia have set their sights on a grand vision – to construct the longest tunnel in the world across the Bering Strait. Measuring a mere 83 kilometers wide, and with a maximum depth of 50 meters, the Bering Strait presents a unique opportunity for this engineering marvel. Two large islands in the middle add to the complexity of the challenge. The proposed Bering Strait crossing holds the promise of transforming trade and cooperation between Russia, China, and the US. The physical link is anticipated to further boost relations among these three countries, fostering economic and diplomatic ties. While skepticism surrounds the feasibility of such an ambitious plan, engineers assert that it is indeed achievable. If realized, this project could redefine the way continents are connected, offering a tangible link between Asia and North America, and showcasing the potential for groundbreaking international collaboration. The idea of constructing a land connection across the Bering Strait has a long history dating back to 1892, when American structural engineer Joseph Strauss introduced the first bridge proposal. His vision, however, faced rejection when presented to the Russian Empire. In 1904, American railroad magnates proposed the first tunnel design, and a year later approval was granted by the Russian ruler Nicholas II. Despite this initial approval, officials debated the project for several years ultimately rejecting it in 1907. After a period of dormancy, the concept resurfaced in 1958, when Chinese-American structural engineer Tangent Lin reintroduced the idea. Lin proposed an 85-kilometer-long bridge, surpassing the current record holder, the Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge by 30 kilometers. His vision aimed to foster commerce and understanding between the people of China and Russia. Regrettably, the complexities of such a project persisted, and in the following years after Lin died in 2003, the proposal faded away completely. Despite multiple attempts spanning more than a century, the dream of a land connection across the Bering Strait has encountered numerous challenges, and as of now, it remains unrealized. In 2007, Russia unveiled an ambitious proposal known as the TKM Link or Intercontinental Link, a colossal project encompassing a 6,000-kilometer rail and oil link. This connection aimed to link the areas of Konsul Monstrov, Mor, and Yakutsk in Russia with Alaska. A central feature of this proposal was a 103-kilometer-long tunnel across the Bering Strait, complete with ventilation shafts on the Diomede Islands. If realized, this tunnel would surpass the underwater section of the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, measuring more than twice as long. In 2008, Vladimir Putin, then Prime Minister of Russia, gave his approval to the TKM link, and subsequently the Russian government greenlit the project in 2011. In 2014, Chinese transportation experts unveiled their vision, 
termed the 21st Century Concept. This proposal envisioned a high-speed rail line spanning 10,000 kilometers, connecting Northeast China to the United States. Notably, their proposal included an undersea tunnel across the Bering Strait, showcasing the continued interest and exploration of the possibility of a direct link between Asia and North America. The manifestations of a potential collaboration between China, Russia, the US, and Canada for a project involving a bridge or tunnel across the Bering Strait are estimated to cost between $65 to $105 billion. The completion of such a venture is expected to take a span of 10 to 15 years. The idea of building a bridge or tunnel across the Bering Strait presents a myriad of challenges for engineers despite the proven feasibility of such construction. The complexities involved, including environmental considerations, engineering intricacies, and geopolitical factors, would demand a concerted effort and innovation to overcome. As discussions and expressions of interest persist, the realization of this grand project hinges on navigating through these multifaceted challenges. The region, despite lacking icebergs, does have ice flows, due to thin sheets of floating ice. These ice flows present a structural challenge as they can exert forces of up to 44 mega newtons on a bridge pier. Additionally, the extreme cold temperatures in the region could render the exposed steel of the bridge brittle. To address this issue, engineers would likely have to cover the entire structure with concrete. This protective layer would serve not only to mitigate the impact of the cold on the steel, but also to enhance the overall durability and resilience of the bridge in the harsh Arctic environment. The unique challenges posed by the icy conditions underscore the intricate engineering considerations necessary for the successful construction and maintenance of such a transoceanic structure. The region surrounding the Bering Strait faces significant underdevelopment, particularly on the Russian side where there are no railways for a staggering 3,200 kilometers. The nearest highway, the Inader Highway, currently under construction, is over 400 kilometers away. On the American side, the situation is not much better, with no railways or highways for nearly 1,000 kilometers. Furthermore, the railway in Alaska does not connect to the lower 48 states. Given this infrastructure deficit, the necessity to construct massive railways on both sides becomes apparent. However, this lack of existing infrastructure poses a series of significant logistical challenges. The absence of railways and highways would complicate transportation of workers and materials to the tunnel construction site, leading to potential delays and a substantial increase in costs. While the tunnel itself is estimated to cost about $12 billion, the bulk of the massive investment would be allocated to building an entire transport system. Addressing this infrastructure gap would not only be crucial for the success of the tunnel project, but also for unlocking the economic and logistical potential of the region, facilitating connectivity and development on both the Russian and American sides of the Bering Strait. Beyond the challenges of underdeveloped infrastructure, there is an additional concern related to the different rail track gauges used by the US and Russia. The variance in gauges could potentially create logistics issues when goods need to be transferred between systems. Furthermore, gaining US support for the project remains uncertain, adding another layer of complexity. Even if the tunnel and rail line were successfully built, the faster alternative of air travel between the US and Asia would likely remain the preferred choice for passengers. However, the tunnel could find its niche in freight transportation, offering a safer, cheaper, and faster means to transport goods between Asia and North America. A tunnel of this scale envisioned by TKM Worldlink would not only house a high-speed railway, but also include a highway pipelines, and infrastructure for power and fiber optic cables. This comprehensive approach aims to provide an integrated solution for efficient and multifaceted connectivity. The economic benefits of such a tunnel connecting Russia and Alaska would extend beyond the local regions. It has the potential to physically link North and South America to the Old World, fostering increased economic activity on both sides of the tunnel. The integration of these regions into the global economy could result in significant economic rewards. 
In summary, while the challenges and uncertainties surrounding the project are evident, the potential rewards for all involved, including enhanced connectivity, economic growth, and global integration, make this envisioned tunnel a major infrastructure project with considerable promise. The envisioned tunnel across the Bering Strait could play a crucial role in establishing a global renewable energy transmission corridor, facilitating the transport of wind and tidal power over long distances. While Alaska and Siberia boast ample reserves of coal, natural gas, and minerals that have yet to be fully tapped, the project presents a tremendous opportunity for resource-rich countries to increase production and exports. The potential utilization of hydroelectric power from these regions could result in substantial cost savings, with the Russian Far East and North America possibly saving up to $20 billion a year in electricity costs. This not only underscores the economic benefits, but also positions the Bering Strait project as a driver for sustainable and environmentally friendly energy practices. Beyond economic considerations, the Bering Strait project holds the promise of fostering international cooperation and understanding. By physically connecting regions and facilitating the exchange of resources and ideas, the project has the potential to contribute to a future where people and cultures cooperate on a global scale. Time will reveal whether this mega project becomes a reality, but the ambitious vision it presents prompts contemplation about the potential transformation of global dynamics and collaboration on an unprecedented scale. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. Feel free to drop us a line in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Until the next video, farewell.